We're in uh, Prudhoe Bay, Alaska today uh, to observe the first FAA-approved flight of an unmanned aerial vehicle. Yeah, this is a breakthrough for um, BP um, because it's going to allow us to even further improve our operations while at the same time reducing safety risk. We can fly the uh, unmanned system um, at 200 feet over the ground and get high resolution uh, three-dimensional maps of the, of the ground. It's going to provide BP with an uh, even better way to run our operations in the field, improve safety, and reduce costs. We're working with the FAA and also Aero Environment, who's a leading provider of unmanned systems to the U.S. military, but now is getting into commercial applications. We'll be flying the uh, Puma aircraft up here on the uh, North Slope, uh, Dead Horse, Prudhoe Bay uh, area, and the uh, COA exists of about a 40 by 60 mile area on BP uh, property. In this configuration, the aircraft is 12.9 pounds. It's got a battery uh, endurance life of approximately two hours with this particular battery. It's a hand-launched uh, aircraft and a deep stall recovery type aircraft. Originally designed for uh, reconnaissance uh, for the military, and now with uh, additional payloads such as LiDAR, we can adapt this aircraft to uh, other capabilities for uh, the commercial industry. We're beginning to build the industry, and so BP is at the forefront of that. So BP's goal of safety is to ensure that we have the right kinds of procedures in place. Procedures are in accordance with what the FAA expects, and that we're able to fly in the same airspace of those other manned assets as well.